thanks for checking in again. Hope you had a great Christmas and welcome to Spa. One of my favorite tracks, so let's find out if we can handle it. The clock is set. Here we go. Full throttle on the first straight. Prepare for turn one, which is very sharp. 130 degrees, I guess. Aim for the inside. Pay attention to the track limits here. You can stay on the inside curves for accelerating, but be careful due to your spinning risk and full throttle. Stay on the right to prepare for turn two and three. Be careful in the low rouge. Try to get a smooth pace here to lower the spinning risk and to win some time and onto the very long straight. Keep an eye on your battery during races here. Now about to enter sector two, trying to aim for 50 meters before braking. Could have been better. You can lose a lot of time in turn five and six here. Turn seven, almost the same. Watch out for your rear. Now preparing for turn eight, which is <laughs> just horrible to be honest. Still strange to me. Turn nine ahead, which is sharper than you might expect. Finding the right apex before accelerating can save you a lot of time there and full throttle. Go to the right, downshift once and try to aim for these curves on the right. I was too slow now, so I stay on the inside. Watch out for track limits here. The next chicane can also be trickier than I thought in terms of losing time due to a bad pace. Another track limits over here. Next turn 14 can be very crucial already sent myself into the gravel there a couple of times so very dangerous and enter sector 3 as smooth as possible to win some time on the final straight pay attention to your battery once again during the race depending on the time and weather it's sometimes a little difficult to see the track sides never leave the track here at these speeds now reaching the two final turns which are the hardest here to me personally huge spinning risk at the exit be very careful full throttle once again and that's it. Whew, exciting track. So as always guys, I still have to practice a lot, but already looking forward to the race. Weather forecast shows incoming rainy conditions, so it looks like it's gonna be a wet sprint. Don't take my advice too seriously. Hit the like button to show some love, and of course, thanks for watching.